I had a cup of coffee. I'm gonna take one with me in the car. I'm gonna change, feed them, and go to the beach to watch the sunrise. So yeah. I wanted to wear this one, but it's so wrinkled. So I'm gonna wear my pink one. Or I might be changing into pants in like five minutes, who knows. But, yeah. <laughs> And as you know, the only stuff I use is Rare Beauty now because, yeah. One, loves Selena Gomez, but also it feels really good on my skin versus other products felt super thick and like I just, I hate makeup to begin with, but Selena Gomez's stuff doesn't really feel thick. So, I will be a Rare Beauty customer forever now. <laughs> okay, so did like a natural look, put some mascara on. I like white eyeliner, so I did that. And I use this as a setting spray. It's from Frey, if it wants to load, focus, yeah. And it's a rose mist, so I use that. I actually, and it lasts forever. I just, this is the first bottle I ever had, and I just finished it. So I just started the second bottle I have, but absolutely love that. Okay. So, I wanna give a shout out to this because this is from Scentbird and these are like, it's almost like a perfume subscription. So, it's like a little travel thing and this is the Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Parfume, made in France. And I love this. This, remind, this scent, <coughs> scent reminds me of my great aunt Kamra and I'm wearing her watch today. So, I wanted to wear it and I'm gonna take it with me to church that way I can spray myself again before church. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the fit. These are actually from TikTok and highly impressed. But here's my little dress and my shoes and let's go. <laughs> okay, it's currently happening like now. <laughs> but I just kind of parked somewhere. <laughs> I was gonna go to station 18. I'm not at station 18. Oh my god, these houses are gorgeous. What a life. What a life. Man, these are probably all Airbnbs anyway, but I am like booking it to the beach because I want to get like some sort of a pretty view and the sun's starting to rise over there. So I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to station 18. I'm just getting out of the car and I'm walking. Cause I saw like this, this little bridge, and I was like, I'm going. I left my coffee in the car, everything. I don't care. I want my sunrise, and it's happening like right now, so, yeah. <laughs>
Look at how cool. Hold on. You can see it. You can see it outside. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I found <laughs> my little slice of that. <laughs> I'm like a scratch because I'm happy. This is so beautiful. Oh God, I'm so blessed to be here right now. I'm doing, the next week I'm bringing my camera, like my camera camera. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. But like they're getting bigger there's so many of them like they're just kind of washing up in the shoreline my goodness the heck my gosh this is the 
big one. There's a big one. But how cool, how often do you get to hold these things? Not that often, at least not for me. I don't get to hold these things that often. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he's in like perfect shape. His shell's a little cracked. Poor thing. I'm gonna stop at a gas station and clean up. But I was freaking out the entire walk back to my car because I was hearing the beeping of what sounded like a tow truck, but now as I'm looking at it now, it's a garbage truck. But oh, good Lord almighty. I was like, nope, no, please no. But there's actually a car parked behind me, so we're all good. But I need to stop at a gas station and clean up. I got sand on me and didn't think I was going to, and I had to go to church, so. <laughs> Yeah, like that's not cute. So, lesson learned. Next week, um, definitely come in clothes I'm not gonna wear to church. So, yeah. With that, I'm gonna say 1,000% worth it. I don't, I was thinking about this walking back. I have never in my life seen the sun like lift from the horizon like that. It was like a Lion King moment, kind of. But that was. 100% worth it and I got some shells and what a good day morning what a good morning <laughs> much better I to apologize to the employee that has to clean up the sand I'm sorry but time to go to church <laughs> it's a few hours later <laughs> to say the least it is about 1 and the UV index is super high so I got home walked the dogs and I'm gonna go lay in the sun I did get some groceries that we're gonna go through a grocery haul when I get back inside because I got some good stuff. I'm gonna try making tacos, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Not tacos tonight, probably tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I got when I get back in the house. It's been, it's really hot outside. It's been a good day. Yeah, see you in a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's stuff in there. <laughs> back in my apartment. It's hot and I have to be careful being outside longer than like an hour, hour and a half because it does cause like autoimmune flare-ups. Love that for me, but I am like sweaty. And I got a tan line. I can see it. I'm not going to show the camera, but there's a tan line there. Now, I want the rest of my pickles. I purposely didn't eat the rest of these before. Best. They want to focus, 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 focus. Yes, no, maybe so. Camera. I'm going to look at the pickles. There we go. Best pickles ever. If you're a dill pickle person, you can keep your nasty pickles. Sugar-free bread and butter pickles. Or they're the best. I'm debating. I want to take a cold shower. No. I might. I might. I also want to clean. <laughs> I would love to take them outside, but it's too hot. It was way too hot for them. But it's too hot for me. Mm -mm. It was way too hot for Pepper. We're all out here. So, I can make my couch. We're going to do the couch today. Okay, I decided to shower. I want coffee. I'm gonna have some coffee after. But let me show you guys what I got. So, like I said, I wanna make tacos. So, because I don't wanna order from Thrive just yet, I also wanna make spring rolls. I got these taco shells because they're gluten free, they're only corn. So, I checked yellow corn, masa flour. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the fact that it's canola oil, but they were inexpensive. So. First time. Next, I'm gonna get the Siete ones because I want those really bad. I got these. I like that it's three wrappers, 15 carbs. That was kind of what I was going for because that means five carbs a wrapper. I got grape tomatoes because I love grape tomatoes. I got ground turkey in 93.7. I got carrots for snacking. 
I also got Boar's Head Smoked Turkey. Right, I got the smoked one. Yeah, Slow Smoked Turkey Breast. Because I need something, like right now, I don't want my shake yet, but I know I need a little bit of something. So I'm gonna have a couple slices of that. And I already have beets. And then I got iceberg lettuce to put on the tacos. And I got limes. And that was it. And then I got more scallions, which I always get. But, all that to say, I'm really trying to expand my menu. Because I tend to eat the same things. And don't get me wrong, I love what I eat. And there's absolutely no reason that I need to expand my food other than I'm just like, let's try making a couple different things. So I could make shrimp tacos, I could make the ground turkey tacos, I could make ground beef tacos. Um, I also have some salmon in there I wanna cook. I wanna learn how to make the slow smoked salmon. Really bad. I don't know if I can use a frozen salmon for that. We're about to find out, cause that's what I'm gonna look up in a second. Um, also, Fun fact, love tomatoes, hate ketchup. Ketchup is the most disgusting thing in the world. And I think it's funny when people are the opposite. I'm like, ketchup's gross, so you'll eat ketchup and won't we'll eat a tomato. I usually put salt on my tomatoes, so if you haven't done that, you need to do that. But I love, 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 love tomatoes. I'm gonna have some beets right now and a couple slices of the turkey. I had one slice before I went down to the pool. It's really good. I actually really like it. I only got, what, like half a pound? But I like boar's head the best because they do have like high quality meat versus like other stuff, in my opinion, in my opinion. And I grew up eating boar's head salami, so sort of that. But I love turkey breast. Turkey and chicken are good. So if you're someone who has like what loves sandwiches and stuff like that, loves wraps. Cold cuts are fine. Watch the sodium, obviously. Like, I would tell you to get Boar's Head. Don't go get, like, the pre-packaged stuff because that stuff is loaded with sodium purposely to help preserve it. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, but yeah, I want to make my couch today. I need to edit some vlogs. I did set up my program on my website. So that's done. Um... And there's some other things I want to film today. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna film some like talking videos. I think there's just some important topics that I want to talk on. I think it's gonna go into my, wow, I'm not blocked on their Facebook. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think it's gonna go into my podcast because I am revitalizing my, pro my podcast. I just wanted to finish my rebranding. Um, so if I can set up, if I can put this couch in that room with the other, I might just do that. Stay tuned. Got a lot of things to do. Okay, it's about five. I'm gonna make my shake now. I was working on my photography website. I actually published a blog. Excuse me. And now I'm gonna make my protein shake. And I'm in the mood for peanut butter. So I'm gonna have this, and I'm gonna take them for a long walk because it should be cooled down by now. Well, after I eat this, it should be cooled down. And you know. We only eat the best of the best. I just set this on top of my oven. Why is this the best spot ever? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is totally off topic from what I've been talking about, but you know, something that's super frustrating to me is being a coach and helping people so much, as much as I possibly can, doing what I can, when I can, with what the information you give me because at the end of the day i can only help people if they let me help them and so what that means is like you have to like communicate with me you know talk to me that kind of stuff um and it's super frustrating to have people say things to you and you're like you didn't do your job as a client how am i supposed to do my job as a coach kind of thing so that's one ick of mine that's been going on in my mind today felt like I needed to talk about it because at the end of the day, it happens way too often, which is why I'm doing programs, challenges, stuff like that, because truthfully, I feel like, I know actually, like this is gonna sound a little egotistic, but I know I undercharge for what I do, whereas most coaches charge more than me to do less than me. I charge less than them and do more than them. And like, it's so inherently frustrating when people don't see that or put value in that or like if I'm helping you 
and you don't give me 100% and I'm giving you 100% and then you wonder why you're not getting results, like, didn't know I spilled some. Apparently I spilled some. But yeah, that's just one thing on my mind, which is gonna be a topic on my podcast. So, told y'all, that's coming back. And now we finish our shake with my Jello butterscotch sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix. I use obviously, obviously, my first form collagen and salted peanut wow both the back of both of them look at me go <laughs> and then i put the peanut butter powder from Proses and i spilled something on my stove so that's fun um i'm gonna put some stevia and blend it look at it so good so so good Right now, I don't remember the last thing I said. I think the last thing I did was eat the protein shake. I edited a vlog, halfway edited another one. Um, was on FaceTime with my family because it's my dad's birthday. Look at this little chunky dude, the little baby. And now I'm tired. <laughs> so I am going to make my ice cream and go to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget, you're fearfully and wonderfully made.